Because future-looking statements are inherently subject to risk and uncertainty, our reminder is that you should make any purchasing decisions or investment decisions based on products that are currently commercially available. Hi, Salesforce admins. I'm Mike Gerholt, Senior Director of Admin Evangelism. Giving actionable analytics to your users, stakeholders, and executives is a key part of an admin's responsibility. In fact, our essential habits for Salesforce admin series we walk you through how you can make reporting out an actionable habit. That is all to say that reporting is a fundamental part of what you do at your company. And the right report can provide critical insights into trends, where you need to take action, as well as data quality and potential issues. Whether you're just starting your journey as an admin or have lost count of the number of dashboards and reports you built over the years, there is always something to learn about report building. That's why I'm so excited for this session on how to build more advanced reports lightning fast with Ankita Dutta. Joined reports give admins even more possibilities for unlocking information. A joined report can contain data from multiple standard or custom report types. You can add report types to a joined report if they have the relationship with the same object or objects. Let me give you an example. If you have a joined report that contains the opportunities report type, you can add the cases report type as well because both have a relationship with the account object. And understanding cross filters really for an admin is a must. This allows you to take a look deep into your data without having to do any coding. Cross object filters let you include or exclude certain records based on related objects and their fields. Now, don't worry, Ankita is about to dive all into that and talk about summary and row level formulas. That is such a powerful tool in your admin tool belt that can be used with joined reports to help you get the information you need. So let me turn it over to Ankita to walk us through these amazing features for Salesforce admins. Hi, this is Ankita Dutta. I'm the product manager for reports and dashboards here at Salesforce. I'm super excited to talk to you about various reporting concepts and how you can leverage them. Today, we will talk about joint reports versus cross object filters. And then we'll talk about summary formulas versus row level formulas. So you can understand the usage of each of these. All right, so let's dive right in and talk about joint reports versus cross object filters. First, what is a joint report and why do we need it? So as you all know, Reports are based on the underlying report types. Report types need to be created via your admin and are created based on one or more objects. A joint report is a report that's used to combine two or more different reports of different report types to get a more holistic view of your data. Let me start by demoing an example. So let's start by creating an accounts report type based on the account report type. Add the fields account owner and annual revenue and delete the rest. Let's filter it for all time and add account owner is equal to Ankira data. Now I want to see the list of accounts which have high value opportunities associated with them. So what I can do is convert my report to a joint report and click apply. Then I click on add block, select the opportunities report type and click add block.
Keep in mind that report types can only be joined if they share some common fields with each other. In our example, opportunity and accounts can be joined because they share common fields, account name and account ID. Now let's add the following fields, opportunity owner, name, stage, amount, and type. We can add filters to show us opportunities with amount greater than 50,000. Further, you can group data across blocks via common fields. So over here, I want to group them by account name. Now let's say for these opportunities, I want to see if there are any open and escalated cases. So I'll add a block and add the cases report type this time. This too has the account ID name field in common with the other reports. For this, I'll choose the following fields, case owner, status, subject, and date time opened. So basically, I'm now looking at accounts with high value opportunities, which have escalated cases associated with them and I can take the appropriate next steps. I can also add a chart to this joint report to summarize my findings by adding a new chart. All right, now let's talk about cross filters. Cross filters are another great way to connect your data and it also helps in deduplicating reports. You can use cross filters to include or exclude records in your reports report results based on related objects and other fields. Let's go ahead and create an accounts report based on the account report type. Now let's add the fields we need, such as account owner, name, type, annual revenue, and let's delete the rest. Now let's fix our filters to all accounts and previous two fiscal years. Now what we can add is a cross filter by clicking on the drop down next to filters. In the edit pop-up filter, we see a list of related objects and an option for with or without. We can choose to show us accounts with opportunities to basically only show us those accounts which have opportunities associated with them. Then we can also add a filter on opportunities saying amount greater than 50,000. So we only see accounts with high value opportunities. Now we can add another cross filter on cases and add status is escalated. So basically, it shows us accounts which have escalated cases and high value opportunities associated with them. So there you go. 
Those are your advanced reporting concepts such as cross filters and joint reports. All right, next up, let's talk about row level formulas versus summary formulas. Summary formulas are meant to calculate the data across multiple records versus row level formulas are calculated across every single record that occurs on the row itself. So let's talk about the first scenario where you have a few summary formulas available directly in the report. I'm going to create a new opportunity report type. And add a few fields such as type, opportunity name, and amount. Let's group this report via the opportunity record type. Now, when I click on the amount field, I see this pop-up which shows me various summary options, such as sum, average, min, max. I can select the option I want and click on apply. So here I can see the sum and average value of opportunity amount for the various opportunity types such as new and existing business. Now the second scenario is adding a new summary formula. Let's say for every opportunity type, we want to know what is the amount split between multiple reps. So firstly, on the dropdown next to opportunity owner, we can add show unique count. This will show you the number of reps per opportunity type. Next, if you click, click on the dropdown next to columns and click on add summary formula, you can add any formula you need. So let's add amount sum, and then we want to divide this by the number of reps. So let's search for opportunity owner field. And then select unique and click on insert. This inserts the correct formula for our, the correct syntax for our formula. Click on validate and then click on apply. Now you can see the average amount per rep for every opportunity type. The third scenario is adding row level formulas. So let's also add billing state and shipping state to our report. Let's click on the dropdown again and select row level formula. Give your column a name such as amount category. Now add your own row level formula. I'll write an if statement that compares the billing state to the shipping state resulting in a zero for not matching and a one for matching. Hit validate and click on apply.
You can see the misaligned states on your report now organized per row. Keep in mind, you can only have one row level formula per report. So there you go. Those are row level formulas versus summary formulas. I want to thank you all for taking the time today to learn more about the amazing things you can do via Salesforce reports. If you'd like to learn more about row level formulas and summary formulas, please visit Trailhead today. Financial Force accelerates growth with modern, customer-centric ERP and services automation solutions on Salesforce. Eliminate process gaps between your front and back office, reducing backlog and revenue leakage. Leverage actionable data for greater innovation and profitability. And rapidly adopt mixed revenue models to meet new customer demands. Check out Financial Force on App Exchange to learn more. from Germantown, Maryland. I welcome you to Dream TX. Bonjour à tous depuis Genève, en Suisse, and welcome to Dream TX. Hey, Einstein, Dream TX, it's finally here. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun.